Okay, it's been about seven days since we had the plastic on this bed and we pulled back part of it just to see how it was going. It's a lot longer than we thought. We thought maybe it would only take a few days, uh, two or three at the outside. But we had uh, quite a bit of overcast weather and uh, actually a little bit of a rain event in one of the days. So the plastic has been on seven days since we uh, originally uh, cut the cover crop down and then tarped it up. Now what we've done is we've pulled it back and we've reestablished the irrigation lines underneath. Uh, two observations. The first thing is, is that what we have noticed is that although the cover crop on the bed itself died, uh, the foot or so from the edge of the plastic in did not really do much damage at all to the grass on the edge of the bed. Um, kind of made it a little sick, but uh, I think we were still getting air inside, so it wasn't exactly working right on that. And that's, so what we're going to have to do is put tarping on the outside of the bed over those areas for uh, several weeks more just to uh, make sure it's killed off. The other thing is, I think you really got to get that cover crop down further. So what we noticed when we pulled the dead cover crop aside is we still had quite a bit of green underneath on the base part of the clover itself. And the soil didn't get that hot and I'm not so certain that we're actually going to end up with uh, a good kill back on here. However, for planting in sunflowers, which will grow relatively fast, maybe it's okay if the clover reestablishes itself. The weeds, for sure, were interestingly, most of those were dead. And when we go back and we look at some of the area here, we can see as we get to the center of the bed, we have a lot more uh, killing all the way down to the soil level. So again, I think the important thing to take away from this is uh, you got to have a, a narrower air pocket between the plastic and the ground itself. Really have that cover crop cut down. It's almost uh, need it like to do a flail chop on it almost. So our next step now is uh, we're going to start planting some sunflowers and see how it goes in. Okay, we're planting these about nine or ten inches apart using the dibble stick and going through the duff is a little tough and so that's a little harder than I thought. But. Uh, we planted these sunflowers. We didn't use soil blocks for these guys. We just used some old six packs that we had because we were noticing that we weren't getting uh, deep enough root development on the soil blocks itself. And we don't have wind strip trays access to those. So we thought we'd test the difference and use uh, just six pack singing frogs farm does this quite successfully and uh, as you can see we're not we're going in pretty good just takes a little more effort to get the uh, dibble stick into the ground make sure that the plant itself is you know really uh, got some good contact we're putting these pretty close about nine inches between the rows and probably six inches or so between the plants. And the idea behind it is, is, is that uh, it'll form a canopy pretty fast. So we'll plant this guy out. And then I think the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to water it in and see how it goes. Let's get it done. Okay, the sunflowers here are all put in the bed and we put them in through the dead cover crop so this should be good weed suppression. And uh, the last thing we need to do, since we already got the sides retarped up, is just put over some netting protection. So we finished getting the sunflowers in. That part of the project took a little longer, for about 216 plants roughly, about three, three trays of 72. It took pretty close to almost 40 minutes to get the whole thing in and a lot of that was more along the lines of us trying to figure out okay how to stick the dibble stick in to not you know hit an irrigation line and kind of getting our lines figured out 
but actually once we got it moving um, it, it started they went in pretty fast and the nice thing about this is even though the top is killed off the cover crop um, the soil underneath was still really fairly damp um, so there wasn't any you know necessarily drying out of, of the ground like a fabric cloth that would have a more per porous um, a type thing over time tends to allow the soil to evaporate a lot of moisture out in this case the moisture is trapped and um, it stayed pretty much in the soil and the second thing is the soil itself wasn't that hot when we peeled the plastic back we checked the temp in the first inch or so and it was yeah it was warm you know it might have been 80 degrees you know but it wasn't like you know hot to the touch where you go whoa you know I'm burning stuff and that is pretty much why what I think what we saw was uh, earlier when we showed in the video that the actual stuff that was closest to the ground wasn't maybe actually dead the broadleaf weeds seem to like the dandelion type stuff they got nuked pretty good now whether they come back I don't know I don't think so because they looked like they were pretty well on their way to rotting out the grasses they got hit too um, so a lot of the annual weed grasses it looks like they they took a pretty big hit if anything comes back it's probably going to be dominantly clover the next thing that I think that we got to figure out and improve on is is when we put this plastic on a bed we have to get a much better seal on the edge of the beds just laying a sandbag every you know four or five feet doesn't really do the job um, it's I think we're gonna have to do is put down like um, maybe like a t-post or a, a longer piece of pipe or something with a sandbag over it that kind of presses that plastic to the ground so that there is no air gap between the plastic and the ground itself when it's on the edge that will probably help trap in much more heat and kill off those things on the edges because what we noticed was on both sides that the edges didn't die off like the center did the center really took it um, but the closer you got to the edge where there was air seeping in it, it was either it didn't kill it at all or it only kind of knocked it back a little bit so as you can see when you look at the sides of the bed what we ended up doing is we ended up putting landscape fabric tarp folded over a couple of times so that we could um, you know continue the kill process we'll leave that on for probably three or four weeks and then just kind of see how it goes because the whole thing what we're trying to do is get away from having grass growing into the beds itself so we're trying to push that grass back about a foot or so yeah other than that I think it was pretty successful because we took a cover crop and basically spent a few minutes with a scythe knocked it down to you know an inch or two uh, left the base irrigation in so we didn't really have to do anything with that and you know for the most part I'd say a good 70% kill or or a severe knockback so these sunflowers are really I think gonna have a head start of whatever is gonna grow in here and even if the clover came back I think the sunflowers will be way ahead of it so it's a good choice of a crop to do something like this if we're doing this with something that was a lower grower like you know a dianthus or something like that that could be more difficult so we're gonna have to sharpen our pencils and think about that one a little better um, but overall one week and I think if we had warmer sunnier weather it would have been faster I think this is a plus I think it worked out pretty well so I want to thank you for watching today and if you like what you see please leave a comment uh, if you have any comments about maybe your experiences with solarization and maybe you know how to get the edges of the bed sealed better or something like that if you got some ideas I'd be welcome to hear that um, please give a thumbs up for the video and uh, if you haven't subscribed or this is your first time seeing our channel you know please subscribe as you're always welcome and I hope you all have a good day and take care bye bye